In this video, I'm going to show you how to fly the calibration flight for the Rack R3 Pro. And this also works for the R360 and R2A. Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you exactly how I fly the calibration flight. That way you get it right every single time. So the first thing we're going to do, come on over here. We're going to turn the LiDAR on and then we're going to start recording data. And so on this, I'm just going to click once and then click and hold. And there we go, it's recording data. So now we're gonna wait for 30 seconds. So we can just chill here for 30 seconds. Recording static data. And you'll also notice that the lights can be blinking green on the R3 Pro, and that means it's collecting data. Everything's going good. So that's been about 15, 20 seconds. And you can let it go a little bit longer too. It doesn't really matter. Minimum 30 seconds. Okay, so now we just did our 30 seconds. We're gonna step over here a little bit away from the drone. And I have my controller here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is engage the props by pushing down and in. So now the props are engaged. It's time to take off. I'm gonna go up with the left joystick. Now I'm just going nice and easy up, not too fast. Right now I'm doing about, what am I doing? Oh, vertical speed is, oh, I can't see it, but I think it's about two meters per second, something like this. Okay, now that I'm at altitude, I can see on my FPV that I have a clear view, there's nothing in front of me. Now I'm gonna do my high speed kinematic alignment. To do that, I'm gonna push forward on the right joystick and go pretty fast. We'll do it for a count of five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go, now I'm gonna let off. And now using both joysticks, I'm gonna fly a figure eight. So look at my fingers here. So I'm going forward with the right, and I'm going right with the left joystick. And you can see I'm flying a nice loop here. You can see on the bottom left hand screen there, you can actually see the, the loop forming. So that is one circle. And now I'm gonna go left with the left joystick, also pushing forward with the right joystick. Pretty easy, nice and, nice and easy. And there we go. That is the calibration flight of how you calibrate the R3 Pro and the R360 and the R2A. Now I can go ahead and upload my mission plan and start flying. Next, when I'm done with flying the mission plan, I wanna come home. I want my last bit of the flight to also be this high speed straight section. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what that looks like right now with my thumbs. So I'm coming in, I'm flying straight into me, and I'm gonna go pretty fast again. And I wanna do two, three, four, five. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna come and hover basically right over me. So I just went straight all the way in back to me. Didn't make any corners. And now all I'm gonna do is come straight down. I'm just gonna go nice and easy and slow. And I need to position it a little bit with my thumbs, but everything's gonna be nice and slow movements. and you just hold that, thumb, that left joystick all the way down to disengage the props. That's how you land uh, the M300, M350. This also works for the M350. Now we're gonna wait 30 seconds again. So just chill, hang out. It's been down for a solid 10 seconds now. Honestly, I like to let it go for like a minute, because why not? You know, if you're gonna do 30 seconds, just do a whole minute of static data. That gets you a really solid centralized localized data set there. So let's just let it keep going for a second more. And there we go, it's been about 30 seconds. So now I can go back to the LiDAR, push once, push and hold, and then I'll turn off the LiDAR data collection, and that's it. 
That's how you fly a calibration flight. So let me go over that really quick again. I turned on the LiDAR, waited for 30 seconds. You saw my thumbs, I pushed down and in, and then I elevated, I went up in the air to my desired AGL, above the ground level. It's clear of all obstructions, nothing was there. I could see on the FPV, I can look around. And then I chose a direction, I just went straight, pretty fast, for five seconds. I mean, you can go full, full stick if you'd like. But uh, keep in mind, don't just let go of the stick, back off when you slow down. You know, we don't, we want to avoid any abrupt, you know, movements. It's how you should fly a drone. And then once I did that five seconds straight high speed, I flew that figure eight. And you saw how my thumbs did it. So now you should be pretty expert at how to do this yourself. So practice it a few times, get good at it, uh, master the skill, because this is a very little flying you're gonna actually have to do. Uh, our Rock Pilot app in the future actually automates all this, so you don't need to do it. But I still think it's a pretty good skill set for you to have. You should know how to use the thumbs and the joysticks uh, to control the drone at all times. So that's how you fly it, guys. That's your calibration. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.